Hey guys, it's Adam from the Kick-Ass product development team and I'm here to take you through setting up your brand new Kick-Ass smart battery shunt. Your shunt's a great product to use with your AGM battery or a lithium battery that doesn't have a display or an app because it'll tell you exactly how much capacity you've got remaining in your battery. I'll start by taking you through the display on the shunt. So at the top here, we have our current value. So if we're charging our battery, it'll show how much current's going in and that'll be shown as a positive value. If the battery's discharging, it'll show how much current is going out of the battery and that'll be shown as a negative value. Below there, we've got the voltage of the battery. Below that, we have our temperature sensor, which is taken from the external temp sensor of the shunt. And below that, we have time remaining. So if we're charging our battery, Time remaining is going to show you how long till the battery is fully charged. And if we're discharging our battery, it will show you how long till the battery is completely discharged. So the first thing you need to do when you're setting up your shunt is ensure your battery is fully charged and calibrate the shunt to 100%. So chuck your battery on charge, wait till the charger gets to float, then set up your shunt. And you can look at Craig's video on how to get some more information on doing that. To calibrate the shunt, you need to press and hold the top button for three seconds. So you can see here, our SOC reading has jumped to 100% and we're ready to keep configuring the shunt. So the first thing we need to do is set our battery capacity. To enter the menu settings, I'm gonna press and hold the OK button. And you can see here, we bring up our menu. So the first setting is the battery capacity. Now, to change the capacity, I'm gonna press the OK button once more and use my up arrows on the side. To set my capacity to 170 amp hours for my 170 amp hour AGM battery. So once I've set my battery capacity, I'm gonna press the back button to take me back to my menu options. The next setting is the FCV value or full cell voltage. Now, this is a calibration value that the shunt is gonna set the SOC to 100% once the battery reaches that voltage. So you wanna set this value to the maximum charge voltage of the charger you're using or even just below that to account for any voltage drop. So if we're setting this up for our kick-ass 25 amp DC-DC charger, it's gonna to charge to 14.4 volts so we can set this value to 14.3. Again, I'm gonna press enter to change the settings. And press across once I've set my full cell voltage to 14.3 volts. The next setting is the LCA value or low capacity alarm. This setting will sound an alarm once the SOC reaches that set level. So obviously with our AGM batteries, we don't wanna discharge them any more than 50 to 60%. So our recommendation is to set this value between 50 or 60. Then once you hit that, you're gonna hear an alarm and it's gonna give you an indication you need to charge your battery or disconnect some of those loads to save over discharging your battery. So for a 170 amp hour AGM battery, 60% of capacity is 102 amp hours. So I'm gonna set the capacity setting here to 102. Again, once it's set, I press the back arrow to go back to my menu options. The next setting is a ZCV setting, which is our zero cell voltage. Now, just like our full cell voltage, it's a calibration parameter. So when the battery voltage hits this threshold, it's gonna set the SOC to zero. Now, with an AGM battery, obviously we never wanna be reaching that value, but it does come into play if you're using the shunt with a lithium battery. For our AGM battery, I'm gonna set this value to 10.8 volts. Once I'm done, I press the back arrow to go back to my menu settings and save the parameter. Next, we have the POV value or power off 
voltage. This is a threshold value again, and it will turn the shunt display screen off once the battery voltage hits that point to save power. So for our AGM battery, we recommend you set this to 11.5 volts. And I hit back again to save the parameter and go back to my menu settings. Now our last setting is our battery attenuation ratio. So with any batteries, every time you do a charge cycle, you actually lose a little bit of capacity. This battery attenuation ratio takes that into account. The attenuation ratio is determined by the depth of discharge of your battery and the battery capacity. Have a look at the Kickass Smart Battery Shunt Manual to help you determine what's correct for your setup. I'm gonna set my attenuation ratio to 0.17. And again, once this is set, I press the back button to go to my menu option and the back button again once I've finished configuring my shunt. So that's the configuration of the Kickass Smart Battery Shunt. You're all ready to go. For any instructions on installation, check out Craig's video on the listing.